Welcome to this e-course on results-based management. Considered as a key management approach, results-based management is a core staff skill that should be used by everyone in UNICEF. Select each module to see a short summary. Module 1. To make UNICEF capable of keeping up with the complexity of its programming contexts, it is important for UNICEF staff to know all about RBM. In this module, you will learn what exactly the RBM approach is, how RBM adds value to programming, and how it makes UNICEF achieve its desired results. Module 2. RBM terminology used by UNICEF is also used by other UN agencies, multilateral and bilateral development organisations and governments. It is used in UN development assistance frameworks, UNDAFs, and other planning instruments. Having a common RBM terminology strengthens communication between all organisations. Module 3. Organisations use RBM most often when developing strategic plans, either for the entire organisation, for country operations or specific programmes. This module discusses how UNICEF prioritises issues for action and how strategic planning is essential to achieving results. Module 4. In this module, you will learn about the essential management practices and tools used to put the strategic plans into motion. Module 5. Through monitoring activities, we assess our progress towards the planned results through data collection, assessments and reflection. Program monitoring allows us to determine three things. 1. Whether we are implementing the program as planned. 2. Whether we are achieving the planned results. And 3. Whether adjustments need to be made to the program. Module 6. One of the purposes of results-based management is to understand and sharpen an organisation's contribution to results. Evaluations provide credible, evidence-based information, recommendations and lessons learned to improve future programming and decision-making. Solid RBM systems are the foundation for useful evaluations. Module 7. In this module, you will learn why and when reports are created, what is included in them and to whom they should be distributed.